Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Pat. Hi, I'm Stephanie. So we're talking about our literature month. We're、yeah. on day one, which, of course, as regular listeners will know, is the summary of the book. And the book is、uh, of human bondage.、Mm-hmm. By、uh, an author called Somerset Maugham. Now you'll see that word M A U G H A M. You might be wondering how <laughs> do I even pronounce that? It is the G and the H are both silent, so it's Maugham. Yeah, it's kind of a weird name. I had to look it up too.、Um, of Human Bondage is a classic, so I had heard of that book. We didn't read it in、um, high school no, or college either. No, I have not、either. read it. I have to say, so、yeah. reading this article was kind of my first introduction to the story. So we're going to be learning along with you guys. Yeah, kind of fun. It's a shared experience. Yeah, but when you look at his name, just in your mind, just think M O M. That's how it's pronounced. Close enough. Yes,、yeah. it'll make it easy. Somerset William Somerset Mom. Mom. Yeah. So、uh, we're going to talk about the plot as we always do in day one. But first, as we also always do, we're going to read through today's lesson. <music> Philip Carey, an orphan, is raised by his strict uncle William and Aunt Louisa. They expect him to attend Oxford University. But Philip is miserable at school. The other students are cruel to him because he's shy and has a club foot. Therefore, on leaving school, Philip defies his uncle's wishes and travels to Germany, where he begins a philosophical journey to discover how one achieves happiness. When Philip returns to the UK, his uncle, who has accepted Philip's unwillingness to attend Oxford, acquires Philip. An apprenticeship with an accountant. While on a business trip to France, Philip decides he'd prefer to stay in the country and study art in Paris rather than work in finance. After some time, Philip realizes that he lacks the talent to become a professional artist. His journey then takes him back to the UK, where he starts studying medicine. There, Philip meets Mildred and falls desperately in love with her. Though his love for her is unrequited, Philip returns to Mildred again and again. Meanwhile, Philip finds brief solace with Nora, a friendly, loving woman. But he breaks her heart when he returns to Mildred once again. Intent on becoming a doctor, Philip continues his studies throughout his disastrous love affairs. Although his personal life seems hopeless, he is comforted by his patients. One of his patients, Thorpe Athelney, takes Philip under his wing, and helps him when he's at his worst. Philip falls in love with Sally, Thorpe's eldest daughter, and he sacrifices his philosophical journey to marry her and build a family. When Philip finishes his studies, he starts practicing medicine with Doctor South, a cranky old doctor who takes a liking to him. Finally settled. Philip discovers that he's found the happiness he's long been searching for. Okay, so we're going to start with the title. Now, the title of the novel is、mm. "Of Human Bondage." Bondage is to kind of keep somebody prisoner or restrained in some way that they don't have freedom.、Mm. Uh, you could talk about keeping slaves as a kind of bondage. Here, it's the sort of、uh, human bondage. So, how the relationships you have with other humans. Kind of limit your freedom. I think that seems to be the idea of the title, and they're also Mom's self reflection. So, in a way, as we'll find out in the latter days of the article, this book is sort of about his own life as well. He's、yeah. not just writing a fun story about some characters he's made up. He's reflecting, so he's thinking back on his own life. His so they're self reflections about all he's been through and. Trying to sort of work out some of his own stories and problems through writing. Yeah, it's interesting because it is a piece of fiction or a work of fiction, but it's very autobiographical, which、mm. means the author has put a lot of himself.
yourself into the book, but that happens all the time. Yes, it does. You write about what you know, or with comedians, they they have jokes about what they're familiar with. So that's just part of life. But there is a lot of the author himself in this story. So let's、uh, look. A self reflection is just looking、uh, at your own life and thinking and pondering it. You know, and coming up with some conclusions about what you've done. A lot of people don't do much self-reflection. You know, they don't look at themselves very closely, and maybe decide to change some of the things they're doing that are causing themselves unhappiness or others unhappiness. This guy,、uh, as we're going to find out, ladies, has some.、Um, It has some problems in the the ladies department. Oh yes, and also with finding a career, which is true for a lot of people in life. Yep. So we start with Philip Carey. He's an orphan, so his parents have died,、mm. and he's raised by his strict uncle William and Aunt Louisa. If someone is strict, they、uh, have a set of rules, and you pretty much have to follow them, and you can't really do anything to change them. What they say goes. We often talk about strict teachers who、yeah. don't let you talk in class or. Strict parents who you basically have to do what they say, and you can't really get much、uh, much change out of them. So there we go. We've got an unhappy sort of orphan with a strict aunt and uncle. Pretty classic start to a story. Yeah,、uh, you, definitely. You do get that a lot, and they expect him to attend Oxford University, which is one of the UK's big two, one of the most important and oldest universities. But Philip is miserable at school. If you're miserable, you're very unhappy. You're sad. You can't find any joy in anything that you do, and your whole situation is just unhappy. And you don't want to be in it. And you've got you know, a few friends, no interests, and every day is just feels worse. Yeah, we'll use miserable to talk about、uh, you know school when you're unhappy, but also、uh, if someone's really sick and they just feel miserable,、mm -hmm. you know, there's their body aches, they just ah、uh, miserable. Or maybe the weather just is miserable yeah, for a while. We、raining. have weather like that sometimes in the UK. We have it all the time. <laughs> yes, you do. And it's hard to feel happy when you know either it rains every day or it's so hot you want to just kill yourself. So he is miserable at school. He's just completely unhappy. The other students are cruel to him,、uh, as a lot of times this happens. Kids can be really mean, really cruel, and hurtful.、Um, he's very shy, which is. Which is always tough, but he has something called a club foot.、Uh, the best way to see what a club foot is, guys, is just to look at Wikipedia or、mm -hmm. just go to Google and type in club foot and look at the pictures. What happens is when some kids are born, their their ankles、uh, are twisted and their feet go toward their body. They're not out flat. They can't walk、um, flat footed. So it's it can be tough nowadays. You when people, correct it. Yeah, they yeah. correct that as soon as they're. Born usually,、uh, but back then, no, they didn't have the kind of medicine and technology we do. So you know, to be shy and also to have a club foot is kind of tough. Yep. So, therefore, on、yes. leaving school, Philip defies his uncle's wishes and travels to Germany, where he begins a philosophical journey to discover how one achieves happiness. So, to defy something is basically to say, "No, I'm not going to do what you tell me. I'm not going to follow your rules. I、right. won't do what you want, and I'm not going to study at Oxford. I'm going to Germany." <laughs> and there, he's going to begin this philosophical journey. So, a journey is to go from one. Place to another, but a philosophical one is to do that in your own thinking,、uh, and it's the、right. way you approach the world, the way you think about things, the way you look at your goals and how to think and what the world is. That's what a philosophical journey is. This idea of what makes me who I am, what makes this world. You know, how should we think? What is God? What is happiness? What、yeah. is the purpose of it all?、Uh, one of the basic questions I always think about when someone mentions philosophy is, "What's the meaning of life?"、Yes. You know, why am I here? What am I doing?、Uh, how do, how am I happy? How do I pursue happiness? People often、uh, spend a lot of time trying to find the answer to that question. So he goes on this、uh, a philosophical journey. It's not a real journey,、um, but it's one where he 
he tries to find the answer to that. What's the meaning of life, and wants to find some happiness. Well, when Philip returns to the UK, his uncle, who has accepted Philip's unwillingness to attend Oxford,、uh, tries something else with him. He acquires、uh, Philip an apprenticeship with an accountant. Especially back in those days, if you wanted to go into a particular field like accounting, you would often train with someone who was an expert or a master at that. Here nowadays, we just graduate from college and then get our first job. Although a lot of students、uh, get an internship, which、mm-hmm. is kind of what an apprenticeship was back then.、Uh, internships can be paid or、uh, unpaid, where you just go and work for a company for a semester or maybe for the summer, and At the end of that period of time, they might hire you. Well, this is kind of what the apprenticeship was. His uncle said, "Okay, I get that you don't want to go to Oxford. Okay, here's another opportunity for you. If you acquire something, you、um, obtain it. You get your hands on it.、Uh, you can acquire a lot of education if you continue to go to school, or maybe you are self-educating and you just read all the time."、Uh, but his uncle was trying to help him. Truly, an account. Accountant is someone who、uh, keeps the books for a company. So if you work for a big company, I have several friends who are accountants,、um, and they studied accounting at school in college.、Uh, but you help keep track of a company's profit and loss. That's what they do. Okay, so that kind of takes Philip on his first step. He's、yeah. going to become an accountant.、Uh, is that going to work out for him? We're not sure. We're going to go to our Chinese teacher right now, and when we come back, we'll. Find out whether a life as an accountant is going to bring Philip the happiness he wants. 大家好，欢迎收听 English Digest。我是哈利。今天我们要阅读的文章是文学单元 Unit Twelve of Human Bondage, Mom's Self Reflections 的第一天课程。我们今天要阅读的小说叫做 Of Human Bondage， 中文翻译成人性枷锁。这本小说非常有名，还曾经入选为二十世纪必读的百大小说之一。首先，我们看到课文名称有一个名词 “bondage”， 意思是 “the state of having your freedom limited or being prevented from doing what you want”， 也就是指一种受到束缚的状态。例如 ，Jack hopes one day he can earn enough money to be completely free from the bondage of work。杰克希望有一天他能赚到足够的钱，完全免于工作的束缚。另外 ，bondage 还可以用来指 the state of being a slave， 也就是奴役的意思。例如 ，in this poor country， to make ends meet， some parents are forced to sell their children into bondage。在这个贫穷的国家，为了维持收支平衡，有些父母被迫卖自己的孩子去当奴隶。文章的第一段提到，小说的男主角 Philip Carey 从小是一名孤儿，由他严厉的伯父所养育。伯父希望他能就读牛津大学，但他的学校生活却非常悲惨。我们看到第一段的第三句 ：The other students are cruel to him because he's shy and has a club foot。其他学生因为他很害羞且有内翻足而残忍对待他。当我们要列举总数范围没有限定的两群人或物时，我们会用 some、others 来表示，意思就是有些、有些。例如 ，some people prefer cats while others like dogs。有些人偏爱猫，而有些人喜欢狗。如果我们要列举总数范围有限定的两群人或物时，则是用 some、the others 表示有些、其他的。例如 ，some students in my class are good at math, while the others have a good command of English. 我的班上有些学生数学很好，其他的则是精通英文。如果要表示总数范围有限定的，其中一个，其他的，则是用 one the others。因此，我们可以归纳出，只要总数范围有限定，要表示其他的，就会加上定冠词 the。在这句课文句子中，是指除了 Philip 以外的其他班上学生属于有限定范围，所以用 the other students。而本句是用 the other， 而不是用 the others。这是因为 others 本身是复数名词，如果后面又接复数名词的话 ，others 就会变成形容词 other 
来修饰后面的复数名词。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. So、uh, Philip has just got his apprenticeship with an accountant. Right. We now see that while on a business trip to France, Philip decides he'd prefer to stay in the country and study art in Paris rather than work in finance. So, so finance、different. is that whole career of money and accounting and、uh, making money for companies, saving money, managing it.、Uh, but he doesn't want to do that anymore. He thinks finance is not going to be his life. He's going to stay and study art in. Paris. Yeah, it sounds like he's choosing the more artistic route rather than the more practical、uh, yeah, road. Yeah, he's still looking for happiness, of、true. course. So finance isn't really making him happy. So he's going to go. Well, I'll just create. That's going to make me happy. Sure, and it, it's、uh, the answer to a lot of people's problems. You know, when they are searching for happiness, it's interesting because in the U.S., you can change your major in college as、mm-hmm. many times as you want, as long as your parents keep paying to. Tuition, of course,、uh, but this is kind of what he's struggling with. He wants to find a career path that will make him happy. So, working as an accountant didn't do it for him. So now he's trying art. So he goes to Paris. If you wanted to be an artist in those time, those times. This period of time is probably the late eighteen hundreds, something like、uh, that. Yeah,、yes. early early turn of the century.、Uh, you'd go to art. That's where the artists would Paris, hang out.、Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you'd go to Paris. Yes, <laughs> doesn't this doesn't work out for him though? Because、no. we see after some time, Philip realizes that he lacks the talent to become a professional artist. At least he's honest with himself. Yeah, he's just not good enough. <laughs> a professional artist is one who would paint pictures for money. He'd paint pictures of you know he'd go to the nobles' houses and paint them for their portraits and their walls. He would do it and sell them at galleries to get money. He's so he he can't make a career of it. Maybe he can paint stuff, but it's not. Going to make him a living,、Mm-mm. so his journey ta- then takes him back to the UK,、Mm-mm. where he starts studying medicine. So another big career change, like、Very、that's、different. it. I'm going to be a doctor.、Mm. And back then,、uh, medicine was just、uh, starting to gain a lot of new ideas and technology. It was interesting.、Um, I'm glad I didn't live back then because the operations were so different. But he thought, you know, let me try medicine, give it a shot. Well, there, Philip runs into someone who will be very important to his life for s- several years.、Mm-hmm. Her name is Mildred, and he falls desperately in love with her. If you're desperate, you'll pretty much do anything, right? If you're desperate for money,、uh, maybe you'll. Take a job that normally wouldn't sound very appealing to you, but if you're desperately in love with someone, you just can't think of anything else but this person. And he really does love Mildred. Here's the sad part of this story: Mildred doesn't love him. Yes, the article says though his love for her <laughs> is unrequited. Yes, Philip returns to Mildred again and again. <laughs> so if love unrequited is pretty much only used for love. And it、yes. just means it is not returned. She doesn't <laughs> love him back. So、yeah. despite this, he's not cutting his losses. He's not going.、Uh, I'm going to date somebody else. He's、no. just going to keep going. Mildred, I love you. Why won't you love me? Kind、yes. of stuff. And he thinks maybe someday she'll change her mind. It's、mm. not going to happen, Philip.、Yeah. But、uh, you know, he's、uh, what we call a glutton for punishment. Meaning、yes. he welcomes punishment. He welcomes pain.、Uh, some people. Just you know, they don't care. He wants her so badly that he keeps going back to her. Meanwhile, Philip finds brief solace with Nora. Yeah, so even though he's desperately in love with Mildred, he'll ma- he'll make do with Nora, poor、mm-hmm. Nora, because he's not really in love with Nora, you know, guys. So if you find brief solace, solace is a period of peace, you know, contentment, contentment. Yeah. So if you're really upset and desperately in love with someone, someone, and you need to find get your peace back, maybe you do turn to someone else, and that's what he does. He has maybe a, a quick fling、mm-hmm. with Nora. 
But、mm. he breaks her heart when he returns to Mildred once again. Bad Philip. Oh dear, Philip. So bad boy. So we can see here he's having some <laughs> unsuccessful, an unsuccessful love life. It's a、uh, mess. And we see that intent on becoming a doctor. Yeah. Philip continues his studies throughout <laughs> his disastrous love affairs. So. He's not giving up, you know. He's <laughs> carrying on with it. He's、yeah. intent. He, this is something he really wants. It's a strong desire.、Good、If you're、him. intent on something, you really want that thing. You focus, right? Yes. So、yeah. he he's going to go. Okay, I'm not going to give up like I did with art and finance. I will become a doctor. This is working for him and his happiness. <laughs>、um, but he's having these disastrous love affairs. Disastrous is an adjective related to the noun disaster, which is something that is. Terrible, just goes wrong in every possible way, and usually in a very big way. Yeah. So he's having disastrous love affairs. They're ending with broken hearts. He's, you know, he's abandoning these women and going back to Mildred. I love you. Why won't you love me? <laughs> kind of stuff.、Uh, and so they're leaving. You know, it's a terrible, terrible cycle of him loving and falling out of love and giving up and. Yeah, well, you would think because these women. Mildred's breaking his heart that he would be more sensitive about not breaking somebody else's heart. Nope. No, nope. he breaks Nora's heart. Yeah, so he's kind of a disaster in the love affair area. We can say, although his personal life seems hopeless, and it. Indeed, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> he is comforted by his parents. Patience. So with I, his patience. Oh, with his patience, his、yes. parents. He's an orphan, guys. So it, yeah, you know, maybe he's a good doctor at least、yep. because his patients care about him. So if you comfort someone, you make them feel better.、Uh, maybe a friend had a bad day at work. Uh, you can go over and comfort your friend by saying, "Hey, let's go out and eat. Go to a movie. Forget about that." Well, his patients really help him, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, one of his patients、yes. with the fantastic name of Thorpe Athelney,、uh, which is a wonderful name. He takes Philip under his wing and helps him when he's at his worst. To take someone under your wing is kind of think of a bird looking after a baby bird. Basically,、right. uh, it's kind of someone who is older and more experienced taking some. Someone who's younger and looking after them, giving them some support, giving、cool. them maybe a bit of shelter, could be a place to live or a job or just some fatherly advice. Philip falls in love with Thorpe Athelney's daughter, whose name is Sally, and、uh, he sacrifices his philosophical journey to marry her and build a family. In other words, he settles down.、Mm -hmm. He puts down some roots. He gets married and says, "You know, who who cares about finding out what the meaning of life is? Sally's pretty great. I love her. I'm going to settle down and have a family." Yeah. So yeah. it is a sacrifice. He has given up the one thing、yeah. uh, in order to get success with something、right. else. You have to get rid of that thing in order to achieve what you want, and、uh, and and that's quite a good thing. You know,、mm -hmm. maybe maybe this is what he really needs. You know,、uh, the love of a good woman. And a、That's、family.、Right. Now we then see that when Philip finishes his studies, he's become a qualified doctor. He starts practicing medicine with Doctor South, a cranky old doctor who takes a liking to him. <laughs> Notice that we use the word practice as a verb when we talk about medicine. Now we don't often use this for many jobs. We use it for, for law, law, law and an medicine. Yes.、Yeah. Yeah, so,、uh, and it's just that. It doesn't mean you're practicing; you're trying to get it right. It's basically the job of doing it.、Yeah. It's to to practice medicine or to practice law is to be a lawyer or a doctor. Yeah, he's been practicing medicine for fifty years, or he's yeah, been practicing law. Exactly. So don't、40. don't mistake this as just kind of him still figuring out what's、no. going on. This is his actual work. <laughs> It's just one of those phrases we use for medicine and law. You practice those careers. If you're cranky, you're kind of、uh, always in a bad mood. You know,、um, you, I, yeah, I try to I try to avoid cranky people. Sometimes I'm cranky if I didn't get enough sleep. Yes, that's hard. Yeah, so he's cranky,、uh, but fortunately for Philip,、uh, old Doctor South, who's usually grumpy or、mm -hmm. cranky with other people, actually likes Philip. Takes a liking. If you take a liking to somebody, you begin to like them.、Uh, sometimes someone grows on you. Maybe you don't like them at first,、mm -hmm. but then.、Oh, After a while, you take a liking to them. It's a phrase we use quite often, just to talk about liking somebody. Finally settled, our dear Philip discovers that he's found the happiness that he's long been searching for. Remember, he was on that.
philosophical journey to find happiness in his life, to find the meaning, the true meaning of life. Yep. But seems like a family life is the thing that he needs to、yeah. kind of keep him stable, and it's、Who、what、knew? he didn't have growing up.、True. So maybe that kind of brings it back around. I know. Well, that's the end of、uh, the summary of of human bondage.、Uh, so let's hand you over to our Chinese teacher for a moment. Then we'll be back to wrap things up. 文章的第二段提到 ，Philip 后来去法国出差，遇见一名叫做 Mildred 的女子。Philip 疯狂的爱上 Mildred， 但他的爱却得不到回报。我们看到第二段的第一句 ，While on a business trip to France, Philip decides he'd prefer to stay in the country and study art in Paris rather than work in finance. 有一次到法国出差时，菲利普拿定主意，他比较喜欢留在法国，并在巴黎学习艺术，而不是从事金融工作。本句有一个句型 ：prefer to 加原形动词 ，rather than 加原形动词，表示宁愿也不愿，或喜欢剩余的意思。这个句型也可替换成 prefer 加 v i n g to v i n g。或 would rather 加原形动词 ，than 加原形动词。例如 ，the brave soldier prefers to die rather than surrender to the enemy。这名勇敢的士兵宁死也不愿向敌人投降。这句也可替换成 ，the brave soldier prefers dying to surrendering to the enemy。或 ，the brave soldier would rather die than surrender to the enemy。文章的最后一段提到 ，Philip 最后成了一名医师，有了自己的家庭，找到自己一直在寻求的幸福。我们看到这一段的第一句 ，Intent on becoming a doctor, Philip continues his studies throughout his disastrous love affairs. 坚决要成为医师的菲利普，在悲惨的风流运势中继续他的学业。这句有个形容词 ，intent， 指下定决心的，专注的。片语比 intent on 加名词或 v i n g 就是指下决心要做或专注于某事的意思。例如 ，Kevin is intent on pursuing a career as an actor。凯文下决心要追求他的演员生涯。另外，本句是以形容词开头的分词构句，前面省略了 being。例如 ，being exhausted， Joe went to bed as soon as he came home。乔感到精疲力尽。一回到家就上床睡觉。这句一开头的 being 可以省略，变成 exhausted. Joe went to bed as soon as he came home. 以上就是今天的课程，谢谢收听。Okay, so that is the summary of the article. So, of course, with our literature on day two and three, we'll look at the the author. We'll look at the themes he's writing or she's writing about. But we're done for today with the actual summary of the book. Thanks for listening, and join us again tomorrow to really dig into what went into this novel. Cool. We'll see you then. Bye for now. Bye.